And just like that, I'm storing free energy. Hi folks, Tom from Van Dyke Dozy. Thanks for tuning in. So if you're new to the channel, I like to make videos about a bunch of different topics, but mainly around the topic of wilderness survival skills. And what I love so much about wilderness survival is how it forces you to simplify life right down to its absolute basics, giving you strong foundations and principles which you can apply to many other things in life. And to me, wilderness survival is also related to topics such as self-reliance, off-grid living and resilience, which is going to be the topic for today's video. Now over the past five years or so, I've been trying to make my living from making YouTube videos and teaching survival courses. And through living this life, I've had to move around a lot and spend you know, lots of times out in the wild away from mains electricity. And I've got some past videos on how I converted my van, as well as my first steps on developing this off-grid woodland teaching site. So if you haven't seen those videos already, go check them out. So in this video, I'm back in the woodland teaching site talking about the power systems I've been testing out for the last wee while. And I'm going to call this my multifunctional power system because I've been using this not only as backup power for the house that I'm renting, but also to keep me powered while I'm living and working from the van as well as living and working in this woodland site. So if you find yourself in any or all of these situations, hopefully this video will be useful to you. Now over the past year or so I've been collaborating with the company EcoFlow who have kindly sent me a couple of their power packs to test out. Now EcoFlow are not paying me to promote these, they just sent me them, asked me to test it and uh, do a video sharing my opinions which is what I'm going to do. Now admittedly I don't have a huge amount of experience with other types of power systems or off-grid power systems. I just want to get on with living in the woods and I want something super simple to get me there and I think these definitely do offer that power and simplicity. Now in the previous video I was testing out their Delta Max battery but recently they sent me its big brother the Delta Pro as well as a couple of rigid solar panels I've been testing out and these are going to be the main focus for today's video but as you'll see I've mainly been using the Delta Pro as the main body of power combined with some smaller batteries with different charging options to create this sort of multifunctional power system. So first a quick recap about this woodland site. So the mission for this woodland site is to create a sustainable low impact living space to meet our basic human needs from the land, i.e. shelter, water, fire, food, without compromising biodiversity and ideally in the long run actually enhancing biodiversity. And as you'll see in my previous video, I'm approaching this mission with three sets of principles. And these are the four priorities of survival, the KISS acronym, keep it simple stupid, and the philosophy of flow. So let's start with the four priorities of survival. And these are shelter, water, fire, and food. And for the sake of this video, I'm including energy in with fire. So for shelter, I already have a van, a tent structure, and a multifunctional shed. For water, there's a small running stream that I can boil or filter for drinking water. And I also plan to fit a rain barrel collection system off the shed. And for fire and energy, I'm working on a sustainable firewood management system, which finally brings us to energy and my super simple solar power system. So you might be thinking, other than today, Scotland isn't generally considered the sunniest country in the world. So with potential wind and hydro at my disposal, why did I start with solar? Well, it really comes down to cost, simplicity and impact. So yes, there is a small stream that I could try figure out a hydro system, but you know, there's trouts living in the stream and I don't really want to start messing with their home by having to dam anything. Also, the stream is about 300 meters away, which would require some expensive cabling to get it up to the battery in the shed. Now for wind, the windiest part of the land is about 200 meters away. So again, I would need to run a cable and even a small wind turbine is kind of a big obvious eyesore. But when it comes to solar, I already have a shed roof that is tilting southward. I don't need to take up any more floor space. I only need enough cables to come from the roof of the shed into the shed where the battery is. And in terms of impact, sure, I had to take down a few trees so enough sunlight could hit the solar panels. But in the long run, I'm going to plant more trees in other parts of the land. Everything will be replenished. So with that out of the way, let me explain my super simple solar system setup. 
Now EcoFlow recommend getting a professional to fit your panels, but my mate Tam and I thought we'd just try do it ourselves. The panels that were sent to me were two 400 watt rigid solar panels with four mounting feet per panel. Their dimensions are 172 by 113 by 3.5 centimeters and they weigh about 10 kilos each. They have a conversion efficiency of 23% and a well mounted panel has been tested to withstand 130 mile an hour winds and 113 pounds per square foot of snow load. So they should be tough enough to live out here in the Scottish Islands. We had some difficulty fitting them to the corrugated iron roof as it was hard to line up the mounting feet with the ridges of the corrugate and to drill them into the wooden battens below. In hindsight, using a panel mounting rail would have been much easier. But after that initial hurdle, they really were idiot proof to connect it all. The cables all have got male female adapters that can only fit together one way, so you can't make a mistake. Once panels were connected together, I just tidied up the cables with tape, drilled a hole in the shed wall, passed them through to connect to the Delta Pro battery. And just like that, within seconds, on a sunny afternoon, I was producing 600 watts of energy. Then testing it on an overcast day, I found I was getting about 90 watts out of them. If you wanted, you could connect multiple panels all together to get even more power. They are compatible with other power station brands and can be fitted to the roof of your house or vehicle. So now onto the Delta Pro power system I've been testing. And this thing is an absolute beast. EcoFlow describe it as the world's first portable home battery and they call it a expandable intelligent ecosystem meaning it can be linked to multiple extra batteries, a smart generator and a smart home panel to make a full smart home backup system that can even be controlled with an app on your phone. Its capacity by itself is 3600 watts to 7200 watts AC output so it can run 99% of all electrical appliances you can think of and as I said you can get even more out of it if you connect it to extra batteries. It has a multitude of different AC and DC charging ports to power all your devices. Its life cycle is 6500 cycles to 50% capacity and 3500 cycles to 80% capacity. It weighs 45 kilograms and comes with an extendable handle so you can wheel it about easily. Now you can also set this thing up to do loads of fancy things inside a modern home that's connected to the grid. For example, you can set this up so that it charges during the off-peak electric hours when the energy prices are cheaper. You can then run your house off the battery during the high-peak energy hours, thus saving you money on your energy bills. You can also control it and track it all with the EcoFlow app on your smartphone. And generally, all these things are a bit too fancy than what I need it to do. What I love about it is just its sheer simplicity. I know nothing about electronics. I just want to get on with filming and living in the woods. And this is really just the case of plugging in some cables and pushing some buttons and it's good to go. And it does all the thinking and safety kill switches for you. I also love the sheer power it has and its multitude of charging options which I can do at home, on the move or off the grid. At home you can charge it from mains electricity in under 1.9 hours which they tell me is the fastest on the market. While I'm on the move I can charge it from my van 12 volt cigarette lighter using the 12 volt cable provided. Now since I've got my solar panels fitted on my shed I can get free power from the sun when I'm working off grid in the forest. Since having the Delta Pro, I've used it to run electric heaters at home during power cuts, and I've been impressed by how much it can handle multiple power tools being used at the same time. I can just run an extension cable from it to wherever I need the power. I can also use the Delta Pro as the main kind of power bank of energy I can use to charge the Delta Max or any other smaller power banks that I can then take for more remote filming expeditions. So is there any downsides to a battery like this? Well, as I said, I have no other experience with other brands of batteries of this size. But, you know, batteries of this size generally aren't exactly cheap, but they are becoming more affordable every year as the technology improves. 
Now comparing this, say, with a petrol generator, sure, it's much quieter and it's great that it doesn't produce any fumes and you can charge it using renewable energy. However, it's not exactly silent either. Every time it's charging or you plug in an AC device, the fans switch on and they do make a noise. Also, even when it's not running, it can produce a sort of high-pitched electrical noise that can be very irritating if you're sleeping in the same room as it. But you could get around this if you stored it in some sort of soundproof cupboard. Another thing you should consider with batteries like these is their optimal operating temperatures. Generally, these sort of batteries don't like getting too cold. Now, the EcoFlow website says that this can function in extremes of minus 10 degrees Celsius. However, they recommend it should be used and stored in plus 20 to 30 degrees Celsius for maximum longevity. And to be honest, I'm lucky if I can get my house in that temperature range in the height of summer, never mind my van or shed. But again, maybe you could get around this by creating some sort of storage cupboard with a small heat source and thermostat that would also keep the sound in and try to keep it in that optimal temperature. Something I could look into. And finally, like I said in my previous video about the Delta Max, these batteries definitely fit the keep it simple principle in terms of my everyday use. But if this thing breaks, there's no other option but to send it back to the factory. Whereas with say a petrol generator, even though it's noisy and it's got horrible fumes, at the very least if it breaks, I could take that to a local mechanic to get fixed. Just something to consider. But with all that said, I'm really enjoying using these and I'm very grateful for EcoFlow for sending me them to test them out. So there you go folks, there is my multifunctional power supply system that I've been using on the grid, on the move, and off the grid. And hopefully you found it useful. Now this is probably gonna evolve and grow over the next few years, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Huge thanks to EcoFlow for sending me these products. I'll put all the relevant links below to the Delta Pro as well as to the solar panels. EcoFlow have got a ton of other battery and energy options, so definitely go check them out. Also, if you like my t-shirt, I've started some branded t-shirts. They're all made through a company called T-Mill, which have a pretty good sustainability reputation. I've got some designs with iconic Scottish weapons, as well as other ones with channel in-jokes. So definitely go grab yourself a t-shirt, help support the channel, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can.